leave it all finished. We perfected. Now entering the cathedral. Oh, in that last level, you saw me pick up a uh, a map scroll from one of those stained glass windows. It uh, basically. I can press tab to kind of pull out a little map, but only areas I've been to will be on that map unless I pick up a map scroll. Then I'll be able to see the entirety of the level from the map. Gargoyles flying all up in my face. Hello. This is one room that always perplexes me. If you stand behind the door, none of those guys in the room will notice you unless you start shooting. And I guess I'm technically out of their line of sight right now because that undead boy wasn't throwing anything at me. So there's the items in front of those stained glass windows. There might be wings or something in this level? I have no clue how you're supposed to get to those without jumping. Well, see, now I walk into the room and all, suddenly they all know I'm here. Ah! This switch to get a secret crossbow. Right there. Where the hell did you come from? Oops. Kind of shoved him through the door and ruined my trick. I was trying to get him right in that one spot where he couldn't target me. Yeah, there's a, some pretty big reasons why I consider those guys to be mummies and not golems that the game calls them. Um, for those of you who don't know what a golem is, it's basically like a, a stone being that's crafted to serve someone. Kind of like a stone slave. But the longer it's left alive, the bigger and the stronger it will get. Um, eventually, and eventually to the point where it just completely disregards its master and just tears everything apart. And then there's, um, apparently the way you bring a golem to life is riding a, uh, a special sort of chanting word across its uh, forehead, and the only way to kill it after that's done is to erase the word. Otherwise, the golem will just kind of regenerate any uh, bits of stone that it loses. It. Good god, this lighting. Oh, hey! A false wall! See, it's shooting me through a false wall! Hang on. Sounds like I got all of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, good. That's all. Fun. takes us back to the beginning. Yeah. Kind of a lame one, really. Um, hi, what's up? One instance where uh, the older, more confusing level design of these typical types of games kicks in. Like, all you've got here is just an altar, a bunch of barrels, and a knight in here. This bit of the wall is a little bit off. You'd think this would be a secret, but no. You actually need to go up here, jump on the altar in order to lower the uh, elevator and progress. That's not the last time we'll be seeing that. this is it's been a, an awfully long time since I played this game on the hardest difficulty but I've beaten it before on this difficulty <laughs> it actually it, it actually got to the point where I became used to this difficulty. So it's another essential secret. Those seem to be far more common in some levels than uh, in others. Like the switch in that secret I just pulled raised the stairs that led to this door here. So crap! Crap! Whoa! There's another secret zone back there. Um, flipping this switch opens the casing on this one, which opens up the exit. But it also opens up this. The 
this uh, barracks area. Now, um, one of the mods I played for this game called War of the She adds in these kind of text introductions to all the secret levels. So, monitor, if you please. Well, in a sec. Cathedral's been finished. Didn't quite get anything, but still, we're now entering the graveyard. Take it away, Auditor! Fighting your way into a set of barracks deep in the cathedral's interior, you encountered a portal. Stepping into it, you feel yourself wrench through the ether. When your eyes open once again, you see that you've arrived in a graveyard far to the west. The corpses of many proud warriors have been laid to rest here, but they now rise again, puppets on the necromantic strings of disparal. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Not in the slightest. But yeah, as you'd probably expect, this place is just riddled with friggin' ghost knights. You're gonna be using up a, a ton of dragon climb for this first section alone. You may also die several times. These the Ghost Knights only throw those bloody red axes that do a ton of damage, instead of the green ones. Oh, God! So yeah, these guys are very dangerous. a bit of a conga line there. <laughs> On the plus side, they do give you a ton of items. Okay, still in my ring. I'm gonna need that. Buried in this godforsaken place. Or maybe the uh, the canonical theory behind this is that they're like, as I kill them, it angers, or as I kill them, they reform in more bodies, like additional, yeah, like additional forms of themselves. Like I'm not killing them, I'm just destroying their astral forms for a brief time. Ah! No, okay, you can move on. And you. Let me actually use that right now. And I'm also gonna need that ring. Because this room up ahead, on this difficulty, this room, it's just hellish. Yeah, the ring of invulnerability makes my uh, vision turn uh, round scale like this. But as you can see, it makes me completely immune to damage. During which I must lay waste to absolutely everything. Oh god. Comes up, now we're gonna need some claw now. The ring's almost out of power, too. Yeah, the ring is a very powerful item, but it doesn't last long. And it's also incredibly rare. Let's see, 
Okay, one of these. Ah. Flipperty switch it. Opens up the room in the side of this thing. Whatever it is. It's like pistons on some sort of giant bone grinding machine in this. Sorry, I keep having to periodically take a drink from this uh, glass of water I have, so I don't dry out my throat. Alright, Crossbow, it's your time to shine! need that shadow sphere later. I'm actually looking at one of the lucky people who has a, um, a disc copy of this game. A disc that my, uh, my uncle John used to have. That's why we need the shadow sphere. Going through there triggers all those traps behind me, which are full of specter knights. outside. There you are! These little stragglers can be so adorable at times. Ah! Step into any of these compartments to lower down the exit. Let's go! Graveyard complete! The ancient warriors have been sent back to their graves.